anyway, uh, what, about three months ago, Deborah, you asked me if I'd do the benefit? Yeah, yeah. And then I said, sure, I'll do a benefit, because I do benefits. Then Deborah says, oh, uh, could you write a song about cancer? And I went, sure. Not just cancer. <laughs> Not just cancer. Head and neck cancer. Sure. Head and neck cancer. Sure. Sure. I said, sure. So being being a father of Abraham Lincoln, you know, he once said that if he was given six hours to chop down a tree, he'd spend five hours sharp, sharpening his axe. I took two and a half months to think about this. <laughs> and we wrote it on a Wednesday and recorded it on Thursday, and then tomorrow night we're going to play it. But I'm going to play it for you right now, so you, got, you guys can jump on the, um, on the Miller piano guys. It's called, uh, it's called Praying on a Cure. They said they'd take it back to me. They said they'd take it back to me. They wouldn't say when that would be, they said. Back to me, and oh, keep praying on a cure. Now it's 2 a.m. and I'm praying on a cure. Midnight hours frighten me. If I fall asleep, then I still breathe. Well, I hear my screams if I can't speak. I lose my hair just to die in my sleep while I'm praying on a cure. It's 2 a.m. and I'm praying on a cure. Then, then it's morning and I can feel the warm and sun chasing away the shadow. Sit my fears back on the run. Had its run, the chemo seemed to get it done. Wipe your eyes and dry your tears, we'll test again sometime next year. And oh, keep praying on the cure. So it's 2 a.m. and I'll pray on the cure. Yeah, it's 2 a.m. Besides, tomorrow night at the Head and Neck Cancer Benefit next door.